All right, so we made our second stop here at the University of Utah campus in Salt Lake City. We are at the the Joseph Merrill Engineering Building. And again, I've I've brought my my sage for cleansing um, as we're sort of facing off against the virtualized world. Um, it's important to sort of know the history, and this history is that um, this building, the the program, the co and, uh, computing program here at the University of Utah was started in the, I think, 1965, and it became uh, the home of the ARPANET. And this building actually has evidently a Utah's only nuclear reactor is under this building, and it is used not for energy, but for scientific experimentation. And so this idea of the internet what was especially worked on here at the Merrill building, my understanding from reading up a little bit about it, was that it was known particularly for uh, computer graphics and visualization. And so that one of the earliest uh, computer graphics that was created, someone drew a, a teapot and sort of a pencil sketch of a teapot and then rendered that mathematically and created sort of a visual uh, a computer coded visual and um, you know if you uh, Joseph this is for you I, I keep imagining all of your objects in your video game that you're developing for technocracy and all of the, your collections of objects that you have holding um, there and that the whole uh, precedent for those objects started here at the University of Utah and the graphics visualization programs of, of transforming real three-dimensional objects into mathematical equations that then fit into virtual spaces. And so that, that history has continued and my understanding is that the University of Utah computing program is very much involved in uh, sort of sophisticated graphics around virtual reality as well. So we can see where that is all going in terms of the social impact space and this idea of measurable behavior change and inserting people into virtual world and managing them through sort of behaviorist conditioning and coding conditioning in those worlds. So, um, you know, I think it's just important to, again, show this is this, you know, just big open parking lot. We've got the mountains in the distance, snowy mountains. Um, you know, they're doing some construction here. Again, the building itself. It's, you know, it looks well kept. It's an older building. It dates to the 60s, but obviously they've put, been putting some money into it. And I think I'm just gonna walk down with my, my sage and put it at the base of this building. Um, you know, it's, it's just, it's interesting to see how the history comes together and that it's not really history. It's not even really past. It just keeps repeating. And, um, you know, we build, we are today, we're built on this legacy of the past and sort of the decisions that we make, you know, to act or to not act and to face or to not face these things, it, it matters. And again, this may seem like very small gestures just to come here and sort of, again, state our revocation of consent of being part of a, a virtual reality world, uh, revoking consent to be captured, you know, as an equation, as a predictive profile, um, that that is not something that is our, our destiny. We have, uh, we're spiritual beings, we're, we're electrical beings, but we're not meant to fit into computer equations. So, um, again, we're just saying University of Utah, computer, internet, ARPANET, this history, we acknowledge the history and we maybe have realized that there have been some missteps made in terms of uh, the, the idea of remaking the world as, as a mathematical equation and as a virtual simulation, that that's, that's not something that we're, we're going to be about. So I'm just gonna leave my sage offering here to the creator, the creator of real life, sacred life that is not simply uh, energy to be contained, like in these, the you know, manage like in the nuclear reactors for experimentation purposes. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff is military contracting purposes. You know, the the internet and the ARPANET are fundamentally militarized technology.
you know. And I, I have to say, being from Philadelphia, being from a place that, you know, we're a land of two rivers, we're pretty flat, we've got a lot of sort of just green trees, but we don't have anywhere near these amazing mountains. And it's really just struck me being here in Salt Lake, the proximity of these like amazing mountain beings, you know, looking out and sort of with all of their age, you know, with what in the world are people doing here, you know, and and what are we doing to the world? So um, we'll see. We might have another visit here. Or I may be just signing off until, until tomorrow. Um, again, I have to talk tonight. Hopefully it will go off uh, without a hitch. But um, I thank you for listening.